Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and today we're coming back to you from RE Plus 2023, the International Solar Conference here in Las Vegas. And this afternoon, I'm joined by Doug Amar Hanau, product manager at Franklin Whole Home, and we're looking at the Franklin Whole Home battery backup system. So Doug, it's good to see you again. Thanks for joining us. Great, thanks for stopping by the booth, Joe. Happy to speak to you today. Absolutely, it's always good to connect with you and the team at Franklin. Uh, those of you who've been following the channel for a while, you know that this is the battery platform that I probably use most frequently, especially for those that are looking for a true uh, whole house battery backup, you know, particularly just because of the, the, because the, the raw size and power of it. Right. But I, I know there's been some, some, some developments that have come up over the past month, so I want to kind of catch the audience up with what's new with Franklin battery system. Uh, and the first is probably right over here, let's start. I know that you recently announced integration with the SPAN smart panel. So can you tell us kind of how that works, Doug? Great, so uh, the SPAN smart panel uh, is fully compatible with the Franklin when you're in off-grid mode. And that means we communicate state of charge and grid status too. So you get those same uh, great tiered load shedding with the SPAN product uh, with the Franklin. So it's basically a, a larger version of the smart circuits. Excellent, excellent. And I remember because that was one of the one of the limitations with the base uh, Franklin system. You have like the two slots for the smart circuits, but if you have more loads that you want to intelligently control, then you do need to bring in sort of a third party solution like SPAN. So that's that's really cool that those uh, your, your systems are going to be working together. Uh, and folks, these are both solutions that we do have available through Solar Surge. So if, if you're a homeowner out there watching this, if you're looking for a whole house battery backup with whole house load management uh, solution, um, this is a combination that you can you can certainly get through us. Uh, is there anything else that the audience should know about how how the span and the Franklin systems communicate, or how that how they might work together to give you a, a, a longer running battery? Sure. So it's uh, local communication. So when there really is a long duration outage or you have a big storm where you lose communication or internet, you don't need to rely on those uh, Wi-Fi or ethernet. You have direct uh, uh, LAN cable from your span panel to the A-gate. It's very resilient. Excellent, excellent. I know that's, that's an issue for a lot of folks. We're talking about redundancy. We don't necessarily want to be dependent on an, on an app, having to use an app or having to use the internet for these systems to work, especially if we're talking about in a, in a crisis or in an emergency type of situation. Uh, Doug, if we could move, move over here. So the other the other new piece of equipment that I noticed here was the A Hub, and this is not this is not a piece of equipment that I'm as familiar with. So for the audience, can you explain what is the A Hub? What kind of functionality does it does it enable? Sure. Uh, speaking on that or building on that same message of uh, resiliency that we just spoke about with the span panel, uh, the A Hub is another uh, value and resiliency piece of hardware that's part of the Franklin ecosystem for your home. This converts a 120 volt power source, uh, potentially from vehicle to load, uh, like maybe that uh, 120 volt power outlet in the back of your Ford Lightning, or any other uh, 120 volt power source, such as a small generator, and allows that to be compatible with 240 volt power sources in your home. So that it basically allows you to take that smaller power source and multiply the power over a period of time. So you run the small generator over, overnight, or you run that uh, battery uh, from your truck uh, during overnight as well to help uh, get the power back into your home. This is potentially really applicable during a uh, hurricane or another extended outage when you don't have solar capacity recharging the battery. Okay, yeah, that's, that's what I was going to ask. So is it, is it intended primarily as, a, as an auxiliary means of recharging the battery, or are you envisioning directly powering loads, let's say from 120 volt like vehicle power source, like you mentioned, like using that to directly power 240 volt loads in the house. Just a quick word from our sponsor, Savant Power and the Savant Energy Management System. If you're considering an investment in a solar plus storage system, then you're gonna to wanna to have maximum visibility and control of how much energy you're harvesting, how much energy you're storing, and how that energy is being distributed within the home. The new Savant Power System allows you to dynamically control which circuits are on and which circuits are off depending on battery state of charge, allowing you to extend your battery running time during a blackout. The system also includes an integrated electric vehicle charger, allowing you to charge directly from solar or from the grid or a combination of both. So if you'd like to learn more information, you can visit the Savant Power website or click the link in the description below so that you can get in touch with an installer right away. That's correct. So 
Uh, same uh, concept as our original generator module, where you do serve the home loads first all the time, and then recharge the batteries with whatever remaining capacity you have, because that's like a nice swing load or swing source. Okay, okay. That makes a lot of sense. And, and I know, you know, over the past year, we've had a number of deployments that have gone out, so there have been a number of lessons learned as, you know, we've got more systems deployed and, and more feedback from the field. So can you tell us what else has kind of changed, you know, on the base Franklin A Power? I know you had mentioned some firmware updates and some things. So what are some what are some enhancements on the platform from when we talked last summer? Great, uh, great point. We always listen to the feedback that uh, our valuable customers and installer community provide to us. So uh, we have just launched firmware updates for the 208 volt uh, multifamily split base. So if you do have more more and more people living in townhomes or in uh, multifamily communities, you do have backup power uh, option with Franklin here. And we're the only uh, California uh, state registered uh, multifamily pa backup power option with the battery system at the moment. <laughs> okay. And also uh, a couple other uh, features, uh, enhanced charge rate on the, the photovoltaics, so you have more design flexibility. And that kind of translates into better Black Start capability too. So, Black Start as a refresher, when you do drain your battery to 0% during an outage, uh, you'll be able to restart it automatically the next day without any additional generators or uh, pieces of equipment or even actions by the homeowner. Great, and I know that's definitely important in a, in a true sort of grid down type of situation. Um, another question that comes to mind here, Doug, is, you know, now we're in sort of the, the California NEM 3.0 world. And so batteries are not just about, you know, not just about backup power anymore. Uh, in many cases, particularly in California, the battery is about time of use avoidance or helping to, helping to maximize self-consumption. So has anything changed on the platform or how the platform is being used to help enable folks to get the most in the NEM 3 world? Yeah, absolutely. So we definitely have uh, enhanced uh, NEM 2.0 uh, charge and discharge for regular peak avoidance for our largest customer base. And then looking forward into the NEM 3.0 world, uh, we do have uh, that export capability to uh, maximize your revenue during those two golden hours in September when you are getting money back from selling to the grid. Or, and then also uh, enhance self-consumption for that day-to-day -day peak avoidance. And you know, uh, I'm happy you brought up NEM 3.0 because it really does come down to the capacity of your system to uh, routinely avoid that daily peak from 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. And that's how you get that payback and make the economics work for your system. The larger capacity is really what makes the difference. Yep, yep. You know, and folks, that you know, that's one of the things, if you've been following the channel for a while, you know that you know, when you're talking about a battery backup now, you know, if you want to use the battery to self-consume so you can avoid buying from the utility, you know, a lot of times the biggest offender on the consumption is your air conditioning load. And so you want to have a battery that has enough capacity that you can be running the air conditioning load um, from your own battery to avoid having to purchase during peak rate hours. I mean, it's great, you can run the fridge and the lights and some other things on a smaller battery, but if you really want to do whole house self-consumption and a whole house backup, you need a battery with, with the capacity to do that. Yes. Right. So. Uh, the Franklin battery, as we all know, has a great warranty of 12 years and 43 megawatt hours. So that 43 megawatt hours is actually class leading at the moment. And that's what allows you to get superior value for your homeowner to avoid the peak over the 12 years. That's how you get that payback from every day, peak avoidance. Yep. And then, of course, the other thing is, you know, as goes California, in many cases, so goes the rest of the country when it comes to net, net metering policy. And we're already seeing this with a lot of my clients in Texas, that they're not able to take advantage of the traditional one-for-one -one net metering model. So again, if you have enough battery capacity for whole house backup and whole house self-consumption, frankly, it doesn't really matter. If your utility gets rid of net metering, you, you can kind of be your own utility and then just use the power company as the energy source of last resort, you know, if the weather's bad or something. And so we're seeing a lot of that as well. Right. Right, and I'm very surprised to see how uh, quickly the loss of net metering is spreading across the country. Uh, uh, this fall, we have uh, North Carolina, Michigan, uh, potentially Ohio, as other large markets that are losing net metering, where a battery really uh, makes sense from a, uh, both an economics and resiliency standpoint. Yep, no, you hit the nail on the head, exactly. And, and so, yes, there, there is a cost to this, folks, but I mean, this is, this is the technology that really allows you to be energy independent, meaning that 
you know, we're not just talking about net metering, zeroing out your bill, we're talking about you're, you're energy independent. You have the means of producing and storing your own electricity. Yes, you still have a connection to the power company, but, but you kind of can just use them as the last resort only, but be as self-sufficient as possible on a daily basis. Um, so anyway, folks, this has been a, an update on the Franklin Whole Home battery backup system. Uh, some updates as far as what's available now here in 2023. Uh, again, this is Doug Amarhanau, product manager at Franklin. Thank you for the, the time today. Yeah, thanks for stopping by, Joe. Always a great pleasure to speak to you and the solar surge community. Thank you, sir. Well, folks, that pretty much does it for today's video. Uh, as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next video. All right, I hope you're getting some great value from today's video content. Now, if you would like to have your product or your business or technology featured on the Solar Surge channel, feel free to reach out to us at the link below so you can set up a call with our media team to talk about your marketing goals and how Solar Surge can help you get there. Solar Surge is the leading online community in the U.S. residential solar and energy storage space. And so if you'd like to get your product, business, or technology in front of our audience, we can help you do that. Uh, again, feel free to reach out to our media team at the link below or email media at solarsurge.net.